G'day Guardians, Rogi here, and I've got a build for you that is going to electrify your life. Since the introduction of Stasis Armor Affinities, we've been given some very interesting mods. Melee, Grenade, and Utility Kickstarter, all giving us alternative options for quicker ability cooldowns. But the mod that's caught my eye the most is Power Preservation, which reads, Kills with your super generate extra orbs of power for your allies. So I started thinking, which roaming super could I best pair with power preservation for maximum orb generation? With the recent buffs to the duration of Hunter's Arc Strider, I thought this would be the perfect time to mess around with a Raiden Flux build. But before we get into the build, Matt and I would just love to thank everybody for the incredible support that we have received over the last few months. It's so heartwarming to see the amazing comments coming through, the reactions to our videos. It really does just make it, it all worth it. We've got some really cool videos planned for you all coming out in January. We're going to be doing uh, a yearly review, looking back at all the different seasons uh, and big beats across the year in Destiny. So it would mean the world if you haven't already subscribe to the channel to see more of our content to see more of these great build videos that we are creating did you know that only 6.7 percent of all of our views are coming from subscribe members it would really be awesome to see that subscribe account go up even further thank you so much for your consideration this build is perfect for grinding out some Dares of Eternity, Battlegrounds, or any of the core playlists. The objective of this build is simple. We are trying to minimize the downtime between the use of our supers. To achieve this, we're going to have a few different ways to bolster our super generation. First off, we'll be generating Arc Wells using Melee Wellmaker. This pairs incredibly well with Top Tree Arc Strider, as once we get three stacks of combination blows, every melee is getting us a kill, thus generating an Arc Well. Now that we've generated these wells, what are we actually going to be doing with them? Well, we'll be using the Arc Wells to increase our melee damage even further with Well of Ions and generate that extra super energy from Well of Potency. I like to throw in a Bountiful Wells here, adding an extra Arc Well to each of our melee kills. The build itself plays out pretty simple. You want to kick things off by generating as many Arc Wells as possible, making sure to pick them up as you're going along to maximize our gains from Well of Potency. It's important to mention though that Well of Potency does have a small cooldown when picking up multiple wells, so if you're not careful and pick up two at nearly the same time, it will only count as one. So you want to melee every single red bar in sight as each melee kill is generating us two arc wells thanks to banner for wells and also getting a stack of combination blows once we've got three stacks of combination blows and of course are empowered by our well of ions you can easily two to three shot any yellow bar silly enough to get in your way pair this tactic with a trench barrel shotgun if you're finding you need an extra bit of firepower now that our super is fully charged, we can really showcase the power of this build. Our allies are going to love us after they see the torrent of orbs you've generated for them. Each kill we are getting with our Arc Staff is generating at least one orb of power, allowing us to create approximately 15 orbs of power from a single super. But that's not all. We can't let our allies have all the fun, right? I mean, it's our super. Surely we can recuperate some of the costs. That's where Elemental Light, a mod which I had not even considered in any other build, comes in clutch. Elemental Light creates a matching well every time you defeat a combatant with your super. This one cost combat style mod is insane. After we've charged through whatever horde the darkness has thrown at us, we are rewarded with bountiful wells. The battlefield now littered with arc wells awaiting our pickup, ready to recharge our super and do it all over again. Raiden Flux is the natural choice for our exotic armor piece, increasing the duration and damage of Arc Strider even further. Once you have three stacks of that Synapse Junction, there is little that stands in your way. While every red bar and yellow bar will go down in about one light attack or so, for the tougher combatants, make sure you are maximizing your damage output with the light attack, light attack, heavy attack combo. Now, let's take a closer look at each piece of gear and which mods go where. 
In our helmet slot, we are making use of the new Artificer armor to add an extra mod in. We've got double power preservation to ensure each kill is generating us an orb of power, elemental light for the extra arc well generation, crucial for quickly recharging our super, and finally hands-on, which is currently one cost as part of Season of the Lost Artifact, allowing it to add it into our Artifice slot. In arms, we have Melee Wellmaker. Now, this is our main source of creating the arc wells necessary to charge our super. Combine this with Bountiful Wells, each melee kill is going to be creating two arc wells. Now, with one energy slot left over, you can add in whichever champion mod you so desire. For our chest piece, we've got Well of Potency. This generates us super energy each time we pick up an arc well. Now, this mod is integral. Without it, all these arc wells that we are creating are only going to be giving us ability energy back. Not that important. Since this doesn't have an affinity, you can go ahead and add it to whichever armor piece best suits your loadout. Down on our legs, we are running Well of Ions. This is here to further increase the effectiveness of our melee hits, giving us an easier time creating arc wells and getting to three stacks of combination blows. The other two slots are open for whichever scavenger or holster mod best suits your loadout. Last but not least, our cloak. This is where I've gone ahead and popped on Bountiful Wells. I personally like having a low cost mod in case I need to pivot and add in particle deconstruction. Bountiful Wells is just such a nice addition to any elemental well build. Doubling the amount of wells created by each source really is the cherry on top. Now, when it comes to stat distribution, the only one I really recommend having at 100 is going to be Intellect. Of course, Intellect governs the cooldown on our super ability, so the higher the Intellect, the sooner we are going to be able to use that super. And every second counts when the objective is to get our supers up as much as possible. The other ones that I'd recommend, having a high mobility is always useful on a Hunter. About 5 Resilience Recovery is one that's nice to have if you can get it. Combination Blows does provide us with some recovery once we get a melee kill there, so you don't typically need it. Strength, not necessary. After every dodge roll, we're getting our melee back, and after every melee kill, we're getting dodge roll back, so uh, you really don't need strength stat at all. That's kind of the you know, rule of thumb that I have it. As long as you've got that 100 intellect, you're fine. I've really been looking for a simple yet effective build to use for those mid-level activities, something that isn't overly complex or requires certain weapons or team compositions to shine, and I think this just might be it. It's got such a plug and play feeling that you could really slot it into any fire team when you're in the mood for grinding pretty much any non-grandmaster content. So, next time that you're in the mood to be a contestant on the hottest intergalactic game show hosted by the all-knowing horse, spare a thought for this Raiden Flux build and the amount of extra supers you'll help to generate. Also, I hear that running Arc Strider guarantees a lightning round, because you know, Arc is lightning, and yeah, it's like science, I think. <laughs> anyway, until next time, Guardians.